So, doesn't happen often, but turns out I was wrong. Did not heal myself overnight while I slept. So, that sucks. I'm supposed to have my friend over tonight, but if I'm sick, I don't think he should come over because I don't want him to get sick and then it's just, then it's my fault and then there's guilt and then, no, not doing it. So I'm going to text him, tell him not to come over and, uh, and then I don't even know if I'm going to go to work tomorrow. Like with the way that I'm feeling right now, if I still feel like this tomorrow, I can't, I don't know. I mean, my job, it requires me to just talk all day long on the phones and stuff. And I can't be, you know, coughing up a lung in people's ear or constantly, you know, muting them or, or whatever. So if I still feel like this, I'm going to be staying home from work tomorrow. Ugh. Good. I hate being sick so much. I am so bored. <laughs> Ugh. I tried playing video games. Just can't get into it. I'm watching YouTube. I'm just not enjoying it. <laughs> I'm such a big baby when I'm sick and I'm bored out of my mind. Just, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm probably due for some pills, actually. What time is it? Two, almost two. So, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. No, I gotta wait another hour before I can take some pills. Oh, <sighs> Miss L. You want some treats? All right, I'll give you some treats. I'm sitting on the couch and I just popped a Halls into my mouth. And here's Mizzo, as close as he can possibly get. What? Mizzo. <laughs> what are you doing? You can't have my halls. It's mine, it's for my throat. You're just gonna sit there with me? Enjoy the smell of the halls from down there? He's so funny. <laughs> if I was laying down, because he's done that to me before, like I'll brush my teeth and then I'm like laying in bed and he comes like right up to my face and he's like smelling my mouth like a freaking weirdo. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid. I thought maybe he would lick it for a minute. Oh. Look at his face. <laughs> he loves having the top of his head petted. And his ears go all flat to the side. And his face looks like an old man. Me, Mizzo? You look like an old man? Yeah, you do. You look like an old man or stoned. So, in other news, I think in a couple of weeks, I think during March break, uh, I think I'm going to get another tattoo. Um, I want to get one, like I've got this one on this arm, and I want to get one on my other arm. So I think I'm gonna get like a tree, like some cool funky tree kind of going from the side of my wrist and then up and kind of like a little bit around my arm. Um, I don't know, I've got a couple of ideas and I'll just have to make an appointment and let him know what I want and let him design something and go get it. So I think, I think me and Kim are, well I know she wants to get another tattoo and uh, Jillian wants to get her tattoo. It's a tattoo that she's wanted for years. And I know she's 16, but she's, she's almost 17. And the tattoo that she has wanted for years, years, like since she was a little kid, um, is something that has a lot of meaning to her and it's very small. Um, so I'm not opposed to her getting it. So I think she'll get a tattoo as well on March break. But like I said, hers is gonna be super small, really small. And I think she's getting it on the side of her wrist as well. Um, so yeah, so that'll be, that'll be interesting for her. And like, the only reason I'm allowing her to get a tattoo at this age, again, is just because it's something that has meaning, you know? It's not like it's some One Direction tattoo or something like that, where when she's older, she'll be like, what was I thinking? So, and because her mind has not changed about this tattoo either for probably, it's probably been about... I don't know, three, four years, I think, that she's been talking about this and has been waiting till she turns 16 because I said that if I do agree to let her get a tattoo, it would be when, you know, after she's 16 or whatever. So, anyways, March break, tattoos, exciting. I just went into the kitchen 
and did not give him anything. And this is what he's doing now. <laughs> I walked away from the kitchen. I sat down and he just sat there and he's staring at me. Well, now, of course, he's looking away, but oh, there we go. Hello. So I'm just making dinner right now, and well, that's the timer. <laughs> Chicken's done, and I'm just having my favorite snack before dinner. I haven't had this in a while. I haven't bought cherry tomatoes in ages, and I bought like a freaking huge, huge thing of them when I did groceries last week. So realizing like I better start eating them. So I'm excited. Jillian is passed out on the couch. I'm eating tomatoes and cucumber, and. Well, dinner's ready. I should probably, like I said, take that out of the oven before the chicken burns. The struggles of having one charger in the house <laughs> when we both need it. Where's your phone at? I'm not telling you. You tell me yours first. At the same time. No. The no, you tell me yours first. <laughs> it's like only the one who really deserves it gets it. You can't look at it, cheater. I'm like, oh. <laughs> what do, okay, what's your phone I need, at? I need the charger. What's your phone No, at? you can't see it. Stop. <laughs> Okay, fine, 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 fine. On three, we'll say it at the same time. One, two, three. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Son of a bitch. See, I wait to the last minute because I know this is gonna happen. I should have just said it's at. Oh my bad. No, Jillian, I'm wrong. It's at two percent. So weird. So oh, really? it's at three percent actually. Look, it's like three <laughs> percent. <laughs> Fine, you win. Jillian is disappearing to her bedroom to, uh, I guess, Skype or whatever with Tristan, and I am going to just continue relaxing on the couch. I think, like, I, I don't know, like this cold, it's driving me crazy because, like, I can't breathe and my throat hurts and just popping pills and halls like they're going out of style. But I think the worst part is actually like the pain in my neck it's insane I, I don't know what's wrong with it it's just like right along my whole spine like right I don't know I don't know it just hurts I had colds before and I don't remember my neck being in pain so anyways I am gonna spend the rest of the night just chilling on the couch I don't think I'm going to work tomorrow if I feel like this still in the morning and that's gonna be it <laughs> exciting good night